Well, <clears throat> this is me walking back to the truck after finishing this one relay. Then I got about like another hour to do walking and then I'm driving. What's goody, YouTube? -y? It's your man, Will. Today is Saturday, July 27th, and it's 525. I clocked out at 522, and now I'm walking to the bus stop. You know what I'm gonna do? The bus don't come through until about six o'clock. So I got about like 30 minutes to get there. About 30 minutes to get there. Yes, sir. Yo, I got finished with my route. Like at three o'clock. Yeah, I got done my route at three o'clock. Then um, I had to wait to about 310 so I could scan the thing at the UPS store. And then after I scanned it, I hot tail it over there to the, uh, yo, my allergies has been kicking. <coughs> has been kicking my ass all day. This is all I've been doing. And once again, look at these goddamn bugs. Come on, man. Damn. But anyway, y'all gonna hear a lot of sniffling. I forgot to bring my damn allergy medicine. But, um, yeah, man. My allergy's been kicking my ass all day. Um, Bless me. Sorry about that. Um, damn, for city. <laughs> damn. Now that shit wanna start acting crazy since I got the camera on and shit. Damn. I was not just sneezing or sniffing like this before I turned the camera on. Like I was sniffing, but I was not sniffling like this. Like, come on, bro. But um. <clears throat> yeah, I had it. I got finished my ride at three o'clock. Then I had to wait till like three ten to do the scan thing. And then after that, I shot over to do the other route, which I finished at like four fifty. But it took me a while to have to, um, had to clean up my back, the back of the thing, um, because that's why I hate when I have two routes. Because I have to put double the, like the mail that didn't belong or packages that couldn't scan or um, bring back mail in general. That's why sometimes I hate doing two routes. Because I got to do double the work when I come back. And that takes a little longer than if I have to do um, one route. You know? But overall, I did pretty good. They gave me off tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to figure out if they go have a funeral or if they go have like a uh, or if they go do cremation. I'm just waiting on, I'm just waiting on that so I can get them, you know, if I need to leave and when I need to leave and when I come back. But I don't know, man. Like this whole week, I feel like been bullshit. And then I tell y'all before I think in my last vlog or whatever. Um, damn man, if I had time, I would have walked to that damn dollar store and got some allergy medicine. Damn, if I ain't got no damn time. Damn, 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 damn. But anyway, um, what I'm saying. Damn, I just lost my train of thought. I think I was saying, I remember telling y'all something, something. What the hell was I about to say? What was I about to say, y'all? Damn. What the hell was I about to say? Oh, man. I don't know. I mean, that's cool I'm off tomorrow because my package will get delivered tomorrow. I just had to order some more hygiene stuff. Amazon. 
But yeah, man. Today was pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't have them. And, it, and like I, I keep telling y'all, when I have a whole bunch of packages, man, the day can go by slow as hell. It can go by hella slow. Because I'm sitting there trying to deliver the packages. Well, I was gonna deliver the packages first. There ain't no question about that. But at the same time, I'm not going to, um, what's I'm gonna call it? Damn, my nose feel oily as hell. Hold up. Ugh. Ew. Yeah, my nose is oily. You know when you squeeze your nose and you have all that white stuff come out? I just got this shit on my shirt. Ew. Yo, man, that's nasty. But yeah, I had to take a fucking Uber this morning because the fucking bus didn't show up. So I basically got up early for no damn reason because the first bus will come at four, uh, four fifty, and then it didn't show up. So. The fucking thing disappeared off the map. And then a couple minutes later, they talking about, oh, uh, the next bus gonna show up like at six something. I'm like, bro, I cannot wait. Like, what the fuck? If that shit come at six something, bro, I'm gonna be late for work. So I had heard him get an Uber and I was still fucking five minutes late. <sighs> Cause the fucking Uber got held up from some shit. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm like, damn. I mean, good thing I'm off tomorrow. I can, uh, I'll wash clothes. And, uh, um, I think I have enough quarters from last time I washed clothes. I think I still got enough quarters from last time. I think. No, I don't. But, um, yeah. I'm sorry, I gotta keep switching. And this shit is, I gotta switch sides. This fucking bag is hurting my damn shoulder. Been holding this shit all damn day. Now when you uh, like your shoulder or something get fatigued, like if you're working out or something. So, yeah, man. Hope y'all had a blessed day. I had a blessed day. I really can't complain. Oh, I complain about my damn nose, man. My shit, but and I'm like. I don't remember my damn nose being like this yesterday. But then I'm like, damn, I did take allergy medicine before I left. And I didn't take it this morning because I was trying to rush to get ready for the damn before the Uber showed up. But I think that's time to go. I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some in my bag tonight. So I go about to work Monday. Yo, my birthday's a week away, man. And I don't know where the fuck I'm going to lay my head at. I mean, I know I can lay my head at, but it's like... That's going to be more fucking unnecessary money coming out of my damn account. This is why I say ungrateful ass fucking people, bro. Selfish ass fucking people. I fucking tell you. Boy, boy, boy. I swear. It's all good. One way or another. I'll figure something out.
Down, 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 down. 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 Oh, yeah, y'all. That's what I was about to say. Remember that? Remember yesterday I was like, damn, should I get some of that food? Yesterday, right? Yo, I got the oxtails and the rice and beans, and then I got the tropical champagne thing. Man, look at here. And then I gave some to my daughter, y'all. She was fucking that shit up, yo. She definitely liked the uh the little tropical uh champagne thing. It wasn't really no champagne, it was just some soda. It's called champagne, because you know champagne bubbles and you know soda bubbles, so that's why it was called champagne, but that shit was so good. I saved her some though. I saved her some of the soda and I saved her some of the food. So I hope she eat it, cause if she don't eat it, I'ma eat it. And I'll just get her another one next week. I think they there um every Thursday or Friday, if I'm not mistaken. I think every Thursday or Friday. I don't know. Once again, man, I'm sorry for the sniffling. Like it's, it's crazy as hell. Like I was literally just not sniffling on the way back to the shop. Well, we're back to the office. But then as soon as I pick up the camera, y'all saw what happened. I just started sneezing. And then I just started. That's annoying, man. That's very annoying. I probably ain't gonna make this long. I'll probably end when I get to the bus stop. So. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is random. But this just happened. Like I was making, I was on my last like little um, section or whatever, and I'm delivering, and this white woman talking about, oh, you a CCA, this and that. I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, um, you working tomorrow? I was like, no, nah, why? She was like, oh, cause I'll be at your office tomorrow. I'm a rural carrier. I'm like, oh, word. Oh, all right, cool. And she's like, damn, I ain't gonna see you tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, I'm off tomorrow. She's like, all right, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm like, bro, what is going on? Like, I just find it so funny, you know? I just find it so funny. It's like, it's randoms, you know? When you in a relationship, that's when everybody want to come out the woods and trying to holler at you, right? But then when you're not in a relationship, nobody comes for you, right? But then when you're not in a relationship, like I like I previously noticed from like years ago when I was single or whatever, before I had kids, women would just be randomly approaching me or randomly giving me compliments or this and the third out of the red. So I'm like, damn, okay. I don't know. Like, I ain't saying I got a problem with them. Just like, you know, just a bit confuses us. You know? Damn, I probably should have stopped at McDonald's and got something to drink. What time is it? Nah, I ain't gonna do that, cuz. Like I said, it's the weekend. This bus back is stupid. So it might say it might come at 6 o'clock, but then it might come before 6 o'clock. Or it might come after 6 o'clock. Like, that shit is never guaranteed on the fucking weekend. So, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> but yeah, man, I hope I hear something back soon. Because when I told you yesterday, the, the female, I know they got the kids or whatever, she applied for the thing too. And they sent her a, a, a mail back in the in the fucking thing. I'm like hold up how the fuck they seen you something back that goddamn quick like god well then again the damn place is like literally down the street from the office and i deliver to most of the damn um housings they they house the people so yeah i'm like damn I hope I get a damn letter in the mail or something back. Like, what the hell, man? Put me on that waiting list, coach. 
Well, not really coats, but you know. I want to be on the waiting list too. Because there's one place I deliver to. They're building, they were building one of the sections that's in the thing. Like the ones, like the ones, like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. They building that building back up from something. I don't know what the hell happened. But they building that back up. And they have another um, place somewhere that I deliver to. So it's like, I don't know. This thing coming this way? Yeah. It's coming this way. I don't know what the hell happened, but I hope they're all right. You know, I got switch shoulders. You know, um, and that got my goddamn nose. God damn. Ugh. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end the video when I get to the bus stop because I'm tired of sniffling. And I know y'all tired of me fucking sniffling too. But, um, um, damn. I don't want to do it this way. Y'all like it this way? Because they be with you with. So I keep freaking forgetting what the hell I'm about to say. Damn. But, um, yeah, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Damn. I'm about to sneeze again. <laughs> well, I ain't never, I'm never going without allergy medicine or cold and flu medicine in my bag again, bro. This is ridiculous. And mind you, I was already sick earlier this damn week. I don't know what the hell I had. I had some, man, look here. I don't know. But damn, man, they, they was having like a little festival and like a little carnival um type thing over there while I was delivering. I was mad as hell. I'm like, bro, if I had my car, I would've took the kids there to tomorrow, man. Damn, dog. And that's another thing that pisses me off too, that I can't fucking take my kids out like I used to. That's another fucking thing I'm pissed off about. And I don't think I told y'all, but I told y'all Two Face hit me up about the fucking um, Jeep or whatever case may be. And blah, 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 blah. I ain't want to hear shit about it. Why the fuck contact me? Leave me fuck alone. But then I thought, what the fuck is that smoke? I don't know if y'all can see that, unless I'm tripping. That smoke? Huh? No. I might be tripping because I ain't got my glasses on. But I thought about it, I'm like, hmm. This motherfucker still got the damn vehicle when dropped it off months ago. Talking about you go trade it in. So I was like, look, I'm in a position where I can start paying the Jeep again. Can I have the Jeep again so I can get to and from work? Because I need a vehicle right now. Tell me how, once again, after me suggesting something, no, no. Then go turn around and say, oh, why would I let you drive something that's in my name? Mind you, like I told y'all before, if I ain't tell y'all. She got me that Jeep last year for my birthday, right? She, got it, she gave it to me last year for my birthday in her name, 
right? So, uh, I'm like confused. I'm like, hold up. You let me drive the vehicle before in your name. Why I can't do it now? <laughs> when I'm telling you I have the finances to fucking pay for the damn thing because I couldn't at first because I was out of work. <laughs> so you had to take over the thing until I got back to work. <laughs> and once again, go say no. Then go sit around and lie and say, oh, the vehicle's not driving right. It wasn't taken care of. But that was the that was the thing that your ass is supposed to do when you supposedly begged me and demanded me to bring the damn thing back so you can go get it fixed under the warranty so you can do what you needed to do. But yet it was still in the driveway when I delivered a package there. <laughs> I I Y'all take that as y'all want. I feel like that's the that's the motherfucker stupid. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> stupid. Just stupid. I'm like, why the hell would nobody go bring a vehicle in to get it worked on under a fucking warranty, bro? And then want to turn around and complain, oh, this is this and this and that, but you have the opportunity to get it fixed for free and you don't want to fucking do it. You're fucking dumb. You and whoever that fucking does that is dumb. <laughs> Take it as you will. In my opinion, I think that shit is dumb. All this damn time you telling me you didn't get it fixed? Like, whatever, man. Like I say, and then after Two-Face fucking said no after that, I was like, you know what, bro? Leave me the fuck alone. Like, at this point, you're dumb. Like, you're dumb. Like, I'm giving you another opportunity to stop fucking paying on something that you don't want to pay for. And you're telling me no. It's out of my hands at that point. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. But to me, I feel like just leave me alone, man. Don't fucking contact me about nothing else. Cause that's just stupid. Like it's that's that's just stupid. You kept easily just let me get the fucking thing back in so I could pay for it. But no. You won't be stubborn and complain that you're paying this or complain that you're paying that but I'm giving you an opportunity to stop paying for something and you don't want to take it. It's out of my hands at that point. At that point, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. I tell my brother all that. I tell my sister that shit. They know that. They said the same thing. Dumb. That is dumb. Why would why would somebody do that if somebody's giving the person the opportunity to stop paying for something? And granted, I can understand why she probably said no. It's because Fingers crossed if I was if I was to got the damn vehicle back and I started paying for it, what were the chances if I would have probably lost my job again? You know, that could have been a reason. But I just feel like she just been whatever, bro. At the point, like I said, I don't care. It is what it is. Uh bust me in about 10 minutes. But yeah, man, yeah, let me know what y'all think about that. I feel like that's stupid as hell. Like once again, I didn't fucking gave you an option to stop paying for something that you don't want to fucking pay for. And you're telling me no. Whatever, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. But y'all already know. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, do the thing that's necessary. If y'all know it, say it with me. Damn if you do. Damn if you don't. I'm just happy that you viewed the video. It's your man, Will. Y'all catch me in the next one. Yeah.